Special Agent Fox Mulder here. We're just down at uh, Long Island Steel Facility or Lice Arts. Blue Scope has its nail known, formerly BHP. And we're here to look at the uh, steel train which carries the steel coils. We're right down the end of it here. Probably about 15 cars. So I'll have a bit of a look at what goes on here. And see how big the air hose is on them. Massive knuckle. Get in underneath and have a bit of a look. Two coil suspension. Can't see any dates on the truck itself there. As we walk along. See, we've got some hydraulic equipment in here. And the rubberized matting to hold the coils. The chain activated and broke by the looks on here. There. And we have a joint piece. Massive. Few bolts a bit uh, ordinary. Some more joined together. Axles. Alright, there's a bit of unique uh, rail just up here, over here. So 53 kilograms at BHPs, which we are currently stated on, 1985 in the third month. So these steel coil trains are actually riding on product that was produced in the factory down there. Is our switch. A dead end down there and the engine either comes from this way to Chanton or they reverse him back through here into the yard which is just up ahead. And we can see the switch is in position here so the train Goes up to the left there. Derailer. In case we come off the tracks here, we'll slot in between the gap there. We don't cause too many dramas. So here we have the, some of the hoppers that go on the end of the steel train. To the left of us, we also have hoppers carriages. Now this is unique, I haven't seen these down here before. This is what these cars here look like without their hoppers on. They fit two hoppers per car. Handbrakes. Decent bolts to hold everything down. Have a good look at all the hydraulics and all in there. Reserve gas. Good size wheels. These trundle over look like a five coil system. Let's have a bit of a closer look in there. And it looks like the date on that's uh, 6th of 2014.
got a bit of a new one here. He's got six coils on him. Two rows, he's actually got nine. There's three rows of coils in there. And he's only from uh, six months till June in 2021. Fairly new, these ones. You can see how high the wheels run in comparison to the bottom of the train there. Handbrake chain system. Also, I'm imagining some of that probably releases maybe some of the load too. I'm not sure. Write in the comments. I haven't been able to catch one without any hoppers on it before, so it's quite a unique find. No trains today who are doing a rail level crossing, so the steel train itself will be down for a week. There's the carrot, there's the, uh, the steel coil train itself. I'll just go down the end of the train. Put the size of the knuckle in there. Joining bits. So we have diagonal hosing in under there in case we get a break off. Okay, coming up to end the train. The big knuckle on the end. Nice new hose. There's your big line of hopper cars minus the hoppers. Okay, go and catch the front end of this steel coil train. So we've got three sets of rails along here, which used to be four. One's been taken away now. So yeah, we're down at uh, Hastings in Victoria, Australia. 70 kilometers southeast of Melbourne in Victoria. And this is the uh, Blue Scope Yard. With no trains running currently. I'm used to seeing that beggar going past at about 80 kilometers an hour. Full of steel coils. the switch right here get everything back onto the main derailer each side so the wheel to slip in if you don't quite go over and another switch up here See the metal crossbars that activate them. So, at the moment, the track is set to go. Well, it looks to me under the far right rail. That's what I'm tipping anyway, by the looks of that. Yeah. Okay. Let's go and have a bit of a last look at this uh, steel train here. As I said, he's got about 15 or 20 carriages on him. That's about normal. No steel coils. He won't be running for... Uh, Probably till next week. So there we got some blue painted axles down a bit further. There is some purple ones down there. Which seem to be a bit more common around this part.
some of the mattings on those little, little uh, places there are broken down. So in here, looks like we've got what appears to be a five coil system after all. We've got two either side and one in the middle, so like a dice, like a five on a dice. Quite see the date on that one, it's not quite stamped very well. <laughs> They do carry little sheds, maintenance way sheds, or little uh, box cars of sorts in amongst the middle here, i.e. the ring bolts there. And we'll just come up the end of the train there. chain system we've got. I really don't know what I'm looking at half the time here but someone can write in the comments. This one's still got the matting on the cradle. Okay, end of train. What I should imagine is, when the time comes, the logistics locomotive and rail first will come up, back up to here, and walk right into that. That's, and then probably go and fill it up with steel coils. I'd imagine any way. Okay. That is the steel coil train, not on the move, without steel coils, but with lots of bits and pieces on the side if you want to look at, and uh, also some of the empty cars up the, the road there at Lysart, so go ahead and buy that like button of beer, karate chop that subscribe button, and that will be Special Agent Fox Mulder out.